Hi guys, my name is Shiley and I have a brand new baby brother. If you've seen all of my videos, this is me again, okay? So, it's me again. If you don't recognize me, I just got off of school, so it's, it's me again. And my mom, she gave birth, so. You haven't seen him in any of the other videos because she was pregnant with him and stuff like that. So, I'm going to read a book to him. It's called, When You Feed a Moose a Muffin. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna sit on my table right here. I just read Oh No Baby. And you like that book a lot. Yeah. Um, do you wanna come see my brother? He's right over here. Hi, buddy. Yeah. And this is who I'm gonna be reading to. Ready? I'm gonna read that. Right here. When you feed a moose a muffin. <laughs> Here's the back page. I'm just going to make up this so it's not going to be terribly right. So. When you feed a moose a muffin. Written by John Smith. When you feed a moose your muffin, you will find a moose. You will look out your window. You will find a moose, all cold and freezing. You look, You will find him. He is stray. You will tell your mother and say, Mom, Mom, Mom! There is a moose outside of our door. May I let him in? His mom said, Don't feed him a muffin or else he'll want jam. So he wanted a muffin. Wait, so he wanted a muffin. He said, Sure, I'll give you a muffin. If you if you it cost ten million dollars. But I don't have that much. Then it will be for free, he said. He gave him a muffin. He said, I'll have jam with it. He yeah. He got jam with it. He wanted another. He said, he said, give me another and another and another. I want jam with it too. He'll, he'll ask you to, he'll ask you to borrow, to borrow, to borrow one of your sweaters. You'll say, sure. Why not? He'll say. He'll try it on your sweater. He'll say, I need a. Um, what's it called? He'll need a thread and a needle as well. He spilled the flowers. He s he gave him the needle and thread. He tried on the sweater. It won't fit him. He needs a needle and thread. Yeah. He said, I need a flower to go with it. I need to trim this up. I need to make puppets. Because my grandmother used to make puppets when I was little, he said. Oh no. We are out of flowers. I'll go buy from some of the store, he said. Oh, and I forgot, I read this wrong. It's by Dr. Tess. He said, I said, oh no. He's yeah. going to put on a sh puppet show. Yeah. So he'll need cardboards and paints and scissors and glue. He'll hide behind the couch, but his horns are too tall.
He'll ask him to help him with all this tape and music and paintbrushes and scissors and glue and paints and paintbrushes and every and tape and newspaper and anything and water and anything like that. He'll ask you to help him paint his place. He'll ask for one of your sheets and he'll try to play. He'll play his feet. He'll put his arms in his puppets. He'll play while Millie McBopkin will lay and nap. The moose. His ears are too tall. He'll ask for a sheet to cover them up. He asked for a sheet. Did it so well. He'll say, Mother, Mother! I'm sorry I did not ask. Don't let a moose inside. Our house is a mess. McBolly McBy said to his mother, McBolly McMoo. She said, He said, His mother, McMolly McMoo. Her mother, his mother, Molly McBoo, she just stood there and worked with her mother.